Hello, I hope that you are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here today where we're going to talk about books. And today's book, my first book for September, is Two Truths and a Lie by April Henry. Nell and her acting group are headed to a competition. On the way, it starts to snow. And as they travel, the weather worsens and they're in a blizzard. The roads become impassable and they're soon looking for a place to stay and wait out the storm. They come upon a motel with vacancies and decide to stay there. Once they are settled in the motel, they realize that it is kind of run down. In fact, it's downright creepy, but at least they're safe. Or are they? Another group of teens arrives and there are also some individual guests staying at the motel, also stranded by the storm. The teens arrange to meet in the comic room where there are board games that they can play and pass the time. They eventually decide to play a version of Two Truths and a Lie in which they write their truths and a lie on individual slips of paper put them in a bowl and take turns picking slips out of the bowl, reading what's written on them. Everyone tries to guess if the person who's reading it is the person who wrote it. If it's not, then who wrote it? When it is Nell's turn to take a slip out of the bowl, she takes it, she reads it, and it's very strange. It indicates that whoever wrote that slip is a murderer. Is it a joke? It must be. Or are they stranded in a motel with a killer? When the guests start disappearing, it's imperative that they get to the bottom of it. This book had some Agatha Christie vibes reminding me of And Then There Were None. So if you are looking for a book with a similar experience, my first suggestion is And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. So I don't know how familiar you are with this story. It is a classic. Eight people are invited to an island for holiday. After dinner on the first night, a record is played that reveals each of their secrets. Each is, in fact, accused of a murder. As guests begin dying, those who remain need to figure out who is responsible or they may never get off the island alive. Dig Two Graves by Gretchen McNeil. Nev and Diane meet at camp. They begin joking about killing one another's bullies back home. At least Nev thought it was a joke until her bully turns up dead and Diane attempts to blackmail her. Nev pretends to go along with the plan all the while looking for a solution that doesn't involve killing someone. When Nev gets to know Diane's bully, she realizes that everything Diane told her was a lie. Even worse, Diane may have killed before. Five Total Strangers by Natalie D. Richards. Mira has to get home for Christmas. Her mom is going through a lot since her mom's twin died. And Mira can't leave her alone for the holidays. When Mira's connecting flight is canceled, she's desperate. On the first flight, she sat next to Harper, who invites her to ride along with her and her friends in a rented car. Mira jumps at the chance to join them. As they begin, all is well. But as they continue, the weather deteriorates. And as they continue even further, it becomes apparent that none of the others really know each other. Soon, they're dealing not only with treacherous weather, but with someone who wants the trip to turn into a deadly disaster. This takes place in the winter holidays, so if you like to read with the seasons, I'd suggest waiting till winter begins. And there we are. I hope that you enjoyed this look at Two Truths and a Lie and other books to read for a similar creepy experience. I've got another suspenseful book coming up next, All the Best Liars by Amelia Kahane. 
I hope that you will join me then and until then I hope that you enjoy all that you do and all that you read and thank you